Are you ready to challenge your intelligence? You can crack these cool puzzles on your own and then surprise your friends at the table. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to think. All right, we've arranged these six coins specially for you. Can you turn this shape into a hexagon in just three moves? Wait a minute. There's a catch. You can only slide a coin and put it in a place where it touches two others. And it shouldn't disturb other coins while moving. Good luck. Well, have you cracked it? Here's the right answer. Move one, two, and three. Voila! Our perfect hexagon is ready. You can also use this riddle in reverse to challenge your friends. Here's another riddle with a hexagon shape. The task is to arrange these coins into a triangle with only four moves. The rules are the same. Every move should consist of sliding just one coin to a new location, where it touches at least two other coins. Are you ready? Let's get started. Here's the correct solution. And now the challenge is to make a cross with five coins going vertically and five horizontally. But you can only move two coins. Sounds impossible, but there's actually a way out. Good luck. You probably think that the number of coins is not enough to complete this task. But if we put a stack of three coins in the center, it becomes quite possible. Magic! The next puzzle will also check your ability to think outside the box. Eight coins are arranged in an H shape. The challenge is to move just four coins to create an O shape. Each of the four coins must always be touching two others in the shape, and no gaps are allowed. All right, let's see the answer. One, two, three, and four. It's a lot easier than it seems. It took 10 coins to build this triangle. Can you flip it upside down by moving only three coins? First of all, grab this top coin and move it all the way down here. And now just level up these two coins. And voila, the triangle is flipped. Here comes the next puzzle. This square shape consists of nine coins. The challenge is to turn the square into a triangle shape by moving only two coins. You can move them anywhere, but you have to use all nine coins in the final shape. Can you solve it? Ready to see the answer? Just move these two coins, and there you have it. Feeling dizzy already, but there's actually an alternative answer to this puzzle. Want to try? Let's put the coins back in the initial position and think again. Here's the second solution. The next task is to move just one coin and make two lines. Each line should consist of four coins. Can you do it? This puzzle requires unconventional thinking, but the answer is simple. You should only put this coin over here and there you have it. Let's go ahead and try to crack the next puzzle. The task is to move just three coins to reverse the entire shape. Can you do it? Ready to see the solution? Step one, move this coin over here. Step two, this one goes here. And finally, step three. Our next puzzle will require some additional props for matchsticks. And now let's go ahead and place the coin outside by moving no more than two matchsticks. But be careful, 
you must create the same shape that you started with. Only this time, the coin should be outside of the parallel matchsticks. Try to explore beyond your expectations if you want to solve this mystery. And good luck! Well, how's it going? Here's the solution. Slide this matchstick like this and put this one over here. A billionaire wants to expand a swimming pool in his garden and asks for your help. But there are four old oaks nearby and you cannot remove them. Can you add four matchsticks and rearrange the entire shape to create a new square swimming pool? Here's the solution. Easier than it sounds, huh? Let's go ahead and take a look at the next riddle. Here's a square. Each side is built of four matchsticks. The challenge is to add 10 matchsticks and split the initial square into four areas with the same size and shape. How's it going? Have you cracked it? Here's the correct answer. These matches are arranged into the shape of a David star. The task is to add 12 matchsticks and create 9 rhombuses. Can you do that? Here's the complete solution. Let's take a look at the next puzzle. Here's a square. Can you move just one matchstick to create 6 squares? Voila, one, two, three, four, five, and six. There are 10 matchsticks placed in two directions, six placed vertically and five horizontally. The challenge is to move one matchstick so that there are six matchsticks in both directions. Ready to see the answer? Just put this matchstick over here. You don't have to be a great mathematician to solve the next riddle, but it can make your brain sweat. 2 plus 7 minus 2 plus 7 equals 14. Can you move just one matchstick and change the final result to 30? Voila! There are seven matchsticks on the table. The task is to arrange them so that each touches the others. Can you do that? Nobody said that all matchsticks have to be flat on the surface. So this is what the correct solution looks like from the top. You should put the seventh matchstick vertically at the center. The next puzzle is harder than it looks. There are three silver coins and two gold coins on the table. They're set up one by one. And the challenge is to rearrange them into the following position to separate gold from silver in just five moves. But there's a catch. You can only move a pair of gold and silver coins together. They have to touch each other. For example, this move is okay, but you cannot make it this way. Ready to try? Remember, five moves only. You can pause the video if you need additional time to think. Let's begin. Ready to see the solution? Step one, move this pair over here. And now steps two, three, four, and five. And now please welcome our next riddle. You're gonna need five matchsticks and one coin to show it to your friends. The task is simple. Make the coin get inside the house, but you can only move three sticks, and you can't touch the coin. Let's begin. Ready to see the solution? Step one, move the bottom stick in an upward direction like this. Step two, move one of the walls like this. And step three, move the bottom stick in an upward direction as shown. And there you have it. 
Great job! The next puzzle will require 24 match heads. They're arranged in the number 58. The challenge is to remove some match heads and create a number that is less than the original 58 by at least 50. Can you figure out the minimum number of match heads that should be removed? To solve this mystery, you need to take away at least two match heads. This way, you'll get the number 5.9, which matches the task perfectly. Next one. Here's a shape that you need to transform. The challenge is to remove only two matchsticks to get eight triangles. Can you do that? Here's the solution. Ready for the next puzzle? This equation contains an obvious mistake. 77 minus 77 is not equal to 77, but you have a chance to fix it by moving two matchsticks. Can you make it correct? Here's the solution. The next challenge is to play six matchsticks to divide the square into four pieces of equal area and the same shape with one coin inside each piece. Let's add some grid lines to make the task a little easier. Ready to see the solution? Here we go. With four matchsticks, you can easily divide the square into four similar pieces but you're given six matchsticks and the task was to separate all coins. That's why you should use more sophisticated shapes and place the matchsticks like this. And we get four similar pieces with one coin in each. Let's go ahead and crack some geometric puzzles. How many triangles do you see in the picture puzzle below? The correct answer is 20. What about this picture? Can you count the correct number of triangles? There are 26 triangles in this image. The next puzzle will take some time and patience. Can you count all the triangles in the snowflake picture? The correct answer is 56. I have a head and a tail that will never meet. Having too many of me is always a treat. What am I? The correct answer is a coin. Which fruit is also a bird and a person? Kiwi. It's a burden of fruit. Also, kiwi is a common self-reference used by New Zealanders. I help you from your head to your toe. The more I work, the smaller I grow. What am I? I'm a bar of soap. fly but have no wings. I can cry but I have no eyes. Wherever I go, darkness follows me. What am I? The correct answer is louds. I have branches but no fruit, trunk or leaves. What am I? I'm a bank. I have many teeth, but I can't bite. I'm often used early, but rarely at night. What am I? The 
correct answer is a comb. Whenever you see me, you clap for me. Though you hate me, you prefer me to my wife. Who am I? I'm a mosquito. I'm a word of five letters. My first two letters indicate who I am. My first three letters are used to cure disease. My last three reverse letters indicate a young guy. My fourth, third, and second letters in order are a fruit drink. If you manage to get me, you must be proud. Who am I? I'm a metal. Two in the bedroom, one in the house, but none in the kitchen. What am I? The correct answer is the letter O. Let's say you're a math teacher, and your student tells you that removing one from 11 makes it 10, and removing one from 9 makes it 10. Is your student wrong? Not really. This answer is possible when you use Roman numerals. 9 equals sine 9, 10 equals sine x, 11 equals sine tub or twice. This way, by removing 1 from 9, you're getting 10. And by removing 1 from 11, the result is 10 again. It's a common fact that New Year occurs a week after Christmas, and therefore it falls on the same day of the week as Christmas. But this won't happen in 2050. In 2050, Christmas will occur on Sunday, while New Year will fall on Saturday. How can this be possible? To solve this mystery, we should read the question very carefully. New Year does fall after Christmas, but that happens in two different years. The question is put up against the year 2050, so there will be 51 weeks and two days in between them, as New Year will appear on January 1st, 2050, and Christmas will happen on December 25th, 2050. Take a look at this picture. Can you figure out what's wrong here? It's all about time. According to the clock, sunset can't take place at this hour. What about this image? Can you spot anything odd? Min and Max are on the wrong sides. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bus stop. Can you find any weird details? This bus doesn't have any side mirrors or windshield wipers. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side. A hat and scarf cost $110. The hat is $100 more expensive than the scarf. How much does the scarf cost? $5. It means that the hat is $105, which is exactly $100 more than the scarf. Mia was a shop assistant on a giant cruise liner. Once, she found an expensive watch in the boutique where she worked and announced it on the radio. Soon, four people showed up in the store. Each of them claimed it was their watch. Mia looked at all of them attentively and realized who the watch belonged to. Can you figure it out too? This man does have a watch tan line, but it's much bigger than the watch Mia found. This young girl already has a watch on her left hand. Why would she wear the second one? Hmm. The elderly lady must be very absent-minded. Her dog is wearing her watch as a collar. The watch must belong to the teenager. <laughs> Nick was an experienced skydiver, but one day something went wrong. A strong gust of wind brought him to the forest. 
the man found himself among trees with no food or water. Soon, Nick saw four roads in front of him. One led to a supermassive black hole that swallowed everything that got close. The second road ended in a sea full of sharks. The third road led to a mountain that was impossible to climb over. And the fourth road ended in a bottomless abyss. Which road should Nick take? He should follow the third road. No one says he has to climb over the mountain. He can simply go around it. During which month do people sleep the least? During February, it only has 28, maximum 29 days. A man is on the run from the police after he stole three massive gold bars. 30 pounds each. Oh, no. At some point, he reaches a long bridge that can support only 260 pounds. The man weighs 200 pounds. How can he transport all three gold bars in one go? He has to walk across the bridge while juggling the bars. It means that at any time, only two bars will be on the bridge since the third one will always be in the air. Look attentively at these three men carrying a log. One of them is cheating. Can you figure out who it is? It's the man in the middle. For one thing, he's wearing a suit, which is a strange choice of clothing for such a task. Plus, his face is quite relaxed, and his eyes are open. It doesn't look as if carrying the lug feels like hard work for him. One evening, Emma went to take out the trash from her coffee shop. She was about to leave when she spotted something dark in the corner behind the trash bins. It was a young woman, and she was unconscious. Emma rushed to her. The girl's bag and smartphone were lying nearby on the ground. The first person on the contact list was named Big Sis. Emma called the number and heard a female voice. I found your sister lying on the ground. It seems someone hit her on the head. What? The woman was shocked and promised to come immediately. Next, Emma called the police. The sister and police officers arrived at the same time. Arrest this woman. She's behind the attack. Oh. And Emma pointed at the sister. Why did she say so? She didn't tell the sister where to come. How did she know the address? Oh. There are four cups on the counter, all of them upturned and hiding the same number of sweets underneath. Near each of the cups, there is a sign that says how many sweets are under it. The signs are five or six, seven or eight, six or seven, and seven or five. Only one of these signs is correct. How many sweets are there under each cup? Since only one sign is correct, the right number can't appear twice. Otherwise, more than one sign will be correct. It means that there are eight sweets under each cup. Luke took part in a scientific experiment, but something went terribly wrong. He ended up in a place where there was nothing but three portals. One of them led to a polar desert in Antarctica. The second one opened into a volcanic crater filled with molten lava. And behind the third portal, there was the age of dinosaurs, with huge diplodocuses roaming around. Which portal should the man choose? Luke would freeze in no time in a polar desert. Molten lava isn't even an option. But diplodocuses are totally harmless to people. They only eat plants. Look at the picture attentively and say which of these people is left-handed. It's the waiter. It's easier for a left-handed person to hold the tray in the right hand and deal with the food and drinks with the left, dominant hand. <laughs> Detective Henry Taylor was getting ready for work when he heard screams from his neighbor's house. He rushed there. The door was locked. The man had to kick it several times before it opened. He found his neighbor, Miss Anderson, in the living room. She was tied to a chair. Oh, I'm so happy you heard me shouting. 
An hour ago, a man knocked on my door and said he was an electrician. But as soon as I let him in, he tied me up and took all the priceless paintings I had got from my grandfather, and then he just ran away. Hmm. Detective Taylor had to arrest the woman for staging the theft. How did he know? When he tried to get into the house, the door was latched from the inside. Who could do it if Miss Anderson was tied up and the thief supposedly ran out of the house in a hurry? You have five pieces of chain, and each of them is made up of three links. You have to make a long chain out of these five pieces. Welding an open link will cost you $3, and breaking a link open is $1. Can you make a long chain if you have only $15? First, take one piece of chain and break all of its three links open. It'll cost you $3, then link the remaining four pieces of the chain with these open links. Welding these links will cost you another $9. In total, you'll only pay $12. In the middle of a long flight, two passengers stood up and started to threaten the crew and passengers. They demanded $1 million in a helicopter. One of the criminals had a pilot's license and could fly a copter. When the plane landed at the nearest airport, the passengers got everything they had requested. A case full of money and a helicopter. But when they got inside, they didn't manage to fly away and were captured by the police. Why couldn't they start the machine if the helicopter didn't have any technical problems? The helicopter was okay, but there was no fuel in its tank. Michael got lost when he was walking in the forest. After hours of wandering around, he finally saw a weird-looking house that seemed to be deserted. Still, the guy decided to try his luck and ask for directions. But when he entered the house, the door shut behind his back with a loud bang, and he heard a voice, You've entered my home uninvited. You won't leave it easily. Oh, no. After that, Michael found himself in a room with three doors. The voice told him that only one of those doors led to freedom. Behind the first door, there were starving wolves. The second door hid a furious werewolf. And behind the third door, there was a huge, raging campfire. Which door is safe? Michael should wait until the campfire goes out and get out of the house through the third door. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.